Hello Reformers and welcome back to a Let's Play of Prophesy of Pendor. And yeah, that is that is how you actually say that because I've received a number of messages <laughs> regarding the pronunciation of that and that's how you say that particular spelling of, you know, prophecy, prophesy, yeah. Technically it's prophesied, you know, that, that's the, that's the, not the plural, but that's the other way of saying it and in general, it's, he prophesied a wonderful thing to happen, like, for example, encountering a peasant revolt. Oh yeah, this is amazing. This is exactly what I wanted, because this is going to give us, I don't even know, it's going to give us a huge, huge amount of renown, and these guys, they're literally... I, I don't know, I think they're probably going to be pretty easy, but the thing is, is that we have a minus 61 battle advantage. Now, obviously, the main problem that we're having right now is the fact that they have three hero adventurers, and I'm going to assume that that's going to be pretty difficult for us to take out, but hopefully our infantry, which we have two of, is going to go in the front here and hopefully defend us against the overwhelming might of the hero adventurers, because no doubt they have lances. One of them does, actually. Let's see if we can do a little bit. Oh my. Okay, so actually pretty... Uh, no, not even that good. Not even that good. Seems like they don't really have the greatest armor. I was a little bit worried about that. I am actually still worried, because taking 47 damage is not very nice. Okay, so let's just see what we can do here. Yeah, now do bear in mind that I am actually experiencing a little bit of lag right now, mainly because there are so many enemies on the fields of battle. Now, let's just hope that we can actually kill that guy. Yeah, there we go. Let's kill him. There we go. Let's take him out. Okay, so what I've actually been doing off screen as well is basically just waiting because I don't have any money, so I can't upgrade my units any further. And that's pretty much it. I've just been waiting and, you know, uh, checking the taverns as well because I wouldn't mind finding Brother Randolph because obviously Brother Randolph is the guy that you want to speak to for the map to the Hidden Mines of Alaziz and obviously that is required to get rune weapons. And I'd very much like to get a rune weapon. I'm unsure what kind of rune weapon right now. I'm thinking maybe something like a... Maybe a two-handed or something, but I'm thinking probably not, because a two-handed is probably going to mean that we... Oh, my... That... Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, okay. Well, <laughs> as I was saying, we do have quite a few enemy units to fight here. And... Well... Uh, I don't even... Uh, are we even gonna... Are we even gonna be able to do this? I mean... I guess... Maybe eventually we'd be able to do it, but obviously these guys, they don't even have shields. I mean, it's really that easy. It is extremely easy to kill these guys, but it's such an unfortunate circumstance that we came across them when we had such a small army. I mean, I have been attempting to recruit a couple of people, and I did recruit some, but they're obviously not that good, you know, so they had to level up a bit, but... Yeah, hopefully this is going to mean that we'll gain a huge amount of levels, but what I'm mainly doing this for is Renown. Yeah, I really want to do this for Renown, and obviously to level up Bear Tilt a little bit as well. Because he is, of course, going to be leveling up an extreme amount, because we're hopefully going to get a bunch of kills with him, which is always a nice thing to do, so let's just see. Come on now. Yeah, there we go. Okay, need to be a little bit careful here. Now, I am really low in HP, which is kind of disappointing, to be honest. I mean, I was actually hoping that I wouldn't take any damage apart from against the deserters. Now, obviously, the deserters don't actually have ranged weapons. I actually thought they did have ranged weapons. It doesn't seem like they have ranged weapons, at least. And that's going to make a hu huge difference, actually, to our survivability. Are they actually running? They are actually routing from us right now. They are routing from a bunch of Kier guards. Can you believe it? I can't. I cannot believe it. Well, seems like this is going to be a pretty nice, pretty nice victory for us. And hopefully that's going to also mean that we'll gain 50 renown from that, which is an absolutely amazing thing to gain at this point. And oh yeah, I should just mention that if you hear anything in the background like bumping around or banging on ceilings and floors and walls and all kinds of things, then that would be our neighbors. Yeah, we have fantastic neighbors here. 
Oh uh, yes, we do. They make a lot of noise. Ah, a lot of noise. Can you imagine recording when you have a lot of noise in the background? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty annoying. But we actually have an additional wave of enemies coming in here. We've already routed 79 of them and we have killed 209. So this is going to be pretty amusing to see. Maybe I'm going to be able to... Oh, yeah, there, there we go. There's level 22. That's fantastic. That's really nice. Maybe we can get a little bit more. A little bit more. Don't take any damage, please, Beartilt. I would appreciate it if you didn't take any damage. Because no doubt, if I am killed, we're probably going to lose. Because eventually, the Kier Guards are going to get taken out. I mean, even though they are reasonably good, you know, they're, they're absolutely fine as an infantry unit. They're not the best. And, oh my, did I really just take a huge amount of... Yeah, I did just take a huge amount of damage, didn't I? I really did. Okay, so it seems like I'm probably going to have to retreat here. They still have 1,168? How do they still have that? I have no idea. We, I mean, we killed, what, almost 300 of them. That is amazing. I mean, that is really amazing. I would love to be able to... Yeah, I, Anson, come on now. It's not even a bloodbath. We didn't even lose that many people. I mean, seriously. Ah, that, well, the, the good thing is we leveled up a little bit. You know, we leveled up a little bit, and they are in this area. I don't think they're going to get attacked anytime soon, so we're probably going to be able to capitalize on that. And, yeah, it seems like persuasion, unfortunately, is charisma-based. I was thinking of A Clash of Kings. Yeah, Clash of Kings, the persuasion is intelligence-based, which would actually make sense, but obviously charisma also makes sense. So let's go for another point in leadership here, like I said I was going to do when we gain that level. And then let's go for another point in intelligence, because we want that first aid and wound treatment buff there. And we might want to go for some pathfinding and tactics soon as well, because obviously tactics, probably going to make a good difference, you know, a good bit of difference to, you know are fighting capabilities. Alright, so have I... I uh, haven't even restored myself. I am so sad now. I really thought that that was going to be a pretty easy victory, to be honest, but... Oh well. It's just the numbers. It's just the numbers. They, I mean, we really can't do much about that, can we? I mean, is this Jet 2 Warband faster than me? They better not be. They better not be faster than me, thank you very much. Okay, so let's just head on over to all these places here. Maybe I should go into the tavern and see if I can find some mercenaries or something. It seems like the mercenaries might be a way... Oh, might be the way to go. Also, there seems to be a Salian vassal here. He does have Knights of the Lion, though, and some Salian knights. But as you can see, if we were to defeat this guy, we would gain Ravenstone Knights. And uh, we, w we obviously wouldn't get Knights of the Ravenspear or Ravenspear mercenaries or Ice Guard Rangers because they're all knights. You know, knighthood order units, as far as I'm aware. But if we were to defeat these guys, we would get an exceptional army. We would get an exceptional army. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wait here for a little bit of time and see what I can do about gaining some money. I don't know how I'm going to do that. I guess I'm just going to wait until next week's wages roll around. All right, so I've been a little bit sneaky here. Yeah, Sneaky Beartild. Uh, yeah, so it seems like I might have to rename him Beartild the Sneaky or something, but yeah. What we're currently doing here, if you could see from the number of enemy units, we're currently helping the Jatu against Baron Charles. Uh, yeah, Baron Charles was the Salian lord that, you know, we saw just a few minutes ago. And yeah, I'm actually helping the Jatu against him. And I'm hopeful that I'll be able to get in combat and steal the prisoners, basically. I'm, I'm hopefully going to be able to steal the prisoners from the Jatu and gain amazing amounts of really, really cool things. But if I'm unable to do that, then obviously the Jatu will then kill me and, you know, hang me from the nearest tree, and that's going to be absolutely wonderful, isn't it? No, not at all, but hopefully that's going to be avoided. But yes, as it is, I'm very... I uh, see, this is the thing. I don't think this is going to happen. I think we're most likely either going to see the Jatu rescue all of those guys, all of the guys from Baron Charles's prisoner hold. We're either going to see that, or we're just going to see them disappear and, you know, that's it. I don't think we're going to be able to actually, you know acquire them, but that's the thing. I had to either do this or just watch it happen. Or just take 123 damage to the face. 
because that's exactly what I love, isn't it? That is, oh, I just absolutely hate that. You know that? I absolutely hate that when that happens because this, this, this Sally and Squire is very unskilled. Shall we just say that? It's very unskilled. It literally just charges at you in a straight line and if you get killed then that's just that's just bad luck, isn't it? But yeah, that's just what happens to me every single time I try to do something cool. And am I going to be able to do this? It seems like he's escaping. I am freeing Duke Aldemar, which is nice because that means we gain a little bit of honor and we also gain some relation. That's partially also the reason why I wanted to do, to do this. Oh, we do! We do actually get to do it! Can you imagine? Wow, this is this is fantastic. Okay. So as you can see, we do have a number of rangers and Kier guards and things like that, but they're all just, you know, regular people, and I was able to actually fight a small band of Mist Mountain units, and that's why I have a little bit of money there. But let's have a look and see if I'm going to be able to take all of these. I think I will probably be able to take all of them because I do obviously now have... Oh, I can take the Raven Spear Mercenaries. That's cool. Anyway, yes, I think I'll be probably be able to take them because I now have that extra point of leadership. So I, I think I'll probably be able to take all of them. And maybe this is going to result in us being able to take on the Peasant Army again. I mean, I'd obviously like to... I don't even know. It's going to be really difficult and it's going to be really difficult to get away from these Jatu right now. No, Donovan, I do not want to, I do not care about what you have to say because I'm currently being chased by the Jatu. Or I'm, I'm apparently not. Apparently I'm not. Apparently helping them has kind of appeased their aggression a little bit. Yeah, it's not actually. It's just that they have a bit of a, an immunity stage, I guess. A bit of an immunity stage, but, you know, by the time that happens. Ooh, they might, uh, wait a minute. No. <laughs> no, I was just like, oh, wait, wait, wait a minute, uh, and then... Yes, me looking at it, it didn't really, it didn't really seem very good. It didn't really seem very good. It would have been really cool to do that, but they had really good units. I mean, they had battle riders and things like that, and as we know, battle riders are very, very powerful. So, yeah, having those not, not the greatest idea. Okay, so let's have a look. Fine balanced crossbow. There is a fine long cavalry lance here, which I was actually thinking of getting at one point because I remember way, way, way back when I did the original. Prophecy of Pendor, or pro uh, yeah, prophecy, prophesy of Pendor, quote unquote, series, all the way back in 2012, actually. I remember that, and I remember having a lance, and that being the only reason I could actually do anything. So, yeah, the the only way I could actually kill something. So that was that was good. It was cool, but obviously it did result in a little bit of a problem most of the time, considering I was. Just using that only, you know, just using that only. It was kind of, you know, kind of took me a lot of time to kill things, but eventually I was able to. Okay, so shall I... I have recruited from there already. Well, that's a shame. Okay, so shall I go after... Not Wolfbode, thank you. I don't really want to go after Wolfbode, but shall I go after that Peasant Revolt again? I'd very much like to, but the thing is, is that um, do I have good enough units? I don't know. I probably don't. I mean, one Ravenstone Highlander, that's not enough. I need a load of those. How do I get Ravenstone Highlanders, by the way? I mean, it doesn't seem like I'm able to do that. I think they probably are noble units. They're probably noble units or something that you have to upgrade. But, obviously, I can't do that right now, so that's... Ah, uh, the trials and tribulations of someone that has not enough of everything. Oh, my... That's really not very good, is it? Okay, well, let's just take as many of these guys as I can. And, well, we're only five away, and our trainer skill's doing an absolutely amazing job right now. So I'm pretty happy with that. Should, I go, should, we, should we go for some Pendor Militia? I mean, I, ha I think I have enough ranged units, so we might as well go for some of those. And what do they become? What do the Pendor Militia become? They become Pendor Footmen. Not entirely sure what else they become, but I suppose we'll find out. Otherwise, I'd very much like to find the Peasant Revolt. What about that? No. I'm just looking for bandit parties that have extremely good prisoners. Like, for example, that one has one Ravenstone Ranger and a Man-at-Arms. And this has just some Miss Mountain Raiders and all that sort of thing. But I'm looking for things that are easy to kill, but are holding some really, really good units. That's kind of what I'm going for here. That's usually how you get a really, really nice start in Pendor as well, by the way. So if you're having trouble, which I know that many, many people do, including myself, in actual fact, then it's always a nice idea to try and find 
a bandit party, as I've said, with some really, really high quality prisoners. And then you can go from there and you can actually win some battles with some, you know, where, where, where you're being outnumbered. And if you're being outnumbered, then you gain a huge amount of renown as a result. And then you can just boost yourself a little bit by doing that. So you've got to be pretty lucky with that as well, which is a bit of a shame. But anyway, I'm going to stop prattling on now because I would very much like to find that peasant revolt army. Alright, so it seems like I have been successful in finding it, and that's the thing, it took me just over here. I just thought to myself, yeah, they're not going to be over here, so just went over this way. It is now night time, however, so I'm not really liking that, to be honest. I mean, I'd very much like to fight them in the daytime, and should I just kill some of these instead? I mean, I'd like to level up our units a little bit. I mean, as you can see here, our trainer skill's doing a pretty nice job. Should I get some more infantry? I think I probably should get some more infantry. That would probably be the way to go, because obviously once the archers get locked down and swarmed by the huge amounts of enemy units, then obviously they can't really do much. So should I fight one of those and get them a couple of level ups? Let's do that. We already know where the Peasant Revolt Army is, so there's no real necessity to kind of rush with it. So let's just go over here, kill these guys. And then we're going to try the Peasant Revolt Army again. Obviously it really just needs most of our units to survive like <laughs> uh, oh how, yeah really captain obvious i had no idea i had no idea that that was what was required to win a battle all your units surviving oh uh, yeah i'm talking to myself here by the way but yeah that is uh that was utter that was utter hilarity wasn't it just out of, terrible terrible okay so yeah if i could actually stop stating the obvious then it would, you know, maybe make things a little bit easier for us, wouldn't it? Okay, so let's not take 34 damage from these long poles. That would not be very nice. And they're not even doing it from behind like they're supposed to. So that's a bit of a shame, isn't it? Oh, I am awful with this axe as well, by the way. I mean, I'm just used to having something with a little bit longer reach. You know, I'm used to the long poles. <laughs> oh, no, don't kill me, please. Thank you. Oh, that would have been absolutely awful to be actually killed. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, yeah, also... There seems to be a bit of an issue with the formations. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to change the formations a little bit because the formations do tend to put the archers in front of the infantry. And I've seen that and I was wondering why that happens and one of you was kind enough to let me know that it is due to the formations. Now the one thing that I do like is that I actually really like the formations, not these though. I don't really like these, to be honest, but I like the formations that some other mods have. I think, like, Floris has it or something. I'm unsure about that, but yeah. I think they have, you know, assorted ranks and shield wall and all that sort of thing. But the formations I'm talking about are the ones that happen as soon as you go into the fight and the archers are in front of the infantry and they seem to be a little bit unresponsive and when you try to actually move the infantry in front of the archers. So that would be really nice to sort of fix that. So I'm going to try and do that before we actually head in against the peasant. Oh my! Who would have thought it? Who would have thought that I would have gained something so amazing from such a small party of bandits? I mean, really now? That is pretty insane. Okay, so this is actually a pretty nice sword as well. And I think I might actually take it, because it does have... I mean, this is the thing. This has a bonus against shields, which is really nice. It has more damage, but the reach is kind of annoying. So I'm going to try that out, because obviously these deserters do not have any shields. So it's kind of pointless for me to even bother with those. So I'm going to just take that. There we go. Thank you very much. There might be some really nice loot with the peasants as well. I somehow doubt it, because they are peasants after all. But anyway... Is anyone else needing some armor? Does Julia need some better armor? Does Donovan need some better armor? I think Julia might need some better armor. She doesn't seem like she has very good armor on right now. And she has a spear. That's absolutely awful, isn't it? We need to give her something a little bit better. Shall I give her the... No, not, not that. The cracked heavy crossbow as well, by the way. Should I give her that? Maybe. Oh, no, she can't actually even use it. Okay, never mind. So what about this? She can't use that either because the strength requirement is so high. So let's just take that spear away from her. Because the spear is obviously not going to be extremely good. And I'm going to give Donovan, I think. Does he have enough strength to be able to wear this? He does not. No one does. No one does. It seems like Adonia probably is the only one that has... Nope, she has 14 strength. Okay, so it seems like I'm just going to keep the bear claw armor. 
until we actually get something else there. But okay, we are now going to attack the. No, stay away from me. Ooh, Jatu. Oh, that would be fantastic. Look at that. That's exactly what I mean. This kind of thing would be really amazing for someone that wants to build like a Mist Mountain army. I mean, that's the thing. You can't get Mist Mountain units in general. But rescuing them from a, a, a Jatu warband or from a bandit party, that's obviously the only way to do it as far as I'm aware. And wouldn't it be just amazing to have an entire army of Bearclaw Berserkers and Shaman and Warriors and Raiders? Oh well, it doesn't really matter so far because what we need to do now is attack the peasants. Get him, lads. Hang him from that oak over there as a message to all the highborns. We have had enough. Ah. Uh. Yes. You don't look particularly formidable to me. Oh, well, they do have 1,170, so this is going to be... Oh, yes, this is going to be pretty uh, difficult. Isn't it? It's going to be pretty difficult. Yeah, it is going to be pretty difficult. So, they have 289 once again. So, I'm a little bit worried about it. A little bit worried about it. So, let's see if we can actually just get a good vantage point. I mean, obviously this time we don't have to deal with the hero adventurers so that's going to make things a huge amount easier. Absolutely a huge amount easier. So let's just fire off my crossbow. Ooh, we actually did do a sh <laughs> shot difficulty 12. Yeah. That was absolute luck. There's a headshot. Oh, and I actually did forget to disable the formations, but that's just how I am, aren't I? Yeah, just always forget to do those important things before we head into battles and stuff like that. But yeah, anyway, let's see. I'm just going to tell the cavalry and the infantry just to charge in here because we do want our archers to do as much damage as possible. Let's get our archers running away a little bit. I don't really want them to be in melee, but I think that's probably a foregone conclusion. I think they probably just are going to be in melee for the majority of this particular fight. Let's get out our sword, shall we? Yes, there we go. Actually, so far, it seems to actually not be going too badly. Oh, I am liking the new sword. I am liking the new sword because that means I can outrange the spear users a little bit. And that's always quite nice because not outranging the spear users, yeah, it's, it's very, very sad to not be able to do that. Because obviously they do a lot of damage and they can stop your horse quite easily. So yeah, now we are starting to get absolutely murdered once again. But hopefully I'll be able to gain a couple of levels from this. And anyone that survives from our people will hopefully be able to do the same. Now, the one thing that I did actually want to do was stand on the respawn point. You know, the resupply reinforcement point for our forces. But couldn't really manage to do that considering I, I saw the hill there. And I was just like, oh yes, got to stand on that hill. Thank you very much. So, yeah, a bit of a shame really. Now, let's see. Can I... Oh, I really wanted to get around that guy. But, yeah, he's got a really, really long pole arm that is exceptional at stopping horses. Seems like we might actually be in another situation where we will lose. But I suppose that is just how it is. I mean, you know, the huge amounts of enemies, they are eventually going to win. Even if they lose... I mean, they've lost, like, what, 106 of them so far. And we've only lost 30-something. So... Yeah, it's it's kind of a foregone conclusion to assume that that's going to happen. But obviously it would help if our infantry did not get stuck behind that rock over there, wouldn't it? That would actually help. Okay, so where's where's all our where's all our cavalry coming in? I mean, did we not have cavalry when we first started this? I thought we did. Seems like we didn't actually though. That's a little bit weird. Oh well. Let's just see what we can do here. Yeah, there we go. Come on now. Okay, so how many have I killed so far? 19. Okay, well, that's not actually that bad. Get them. Get them. Okay, oh, uh, well, uh, yes. Seems like my horse is probably going to die relatively soon, and my forces are actually going to die as well. So I'm going to try and tell my people just to hold position away from here. Can I actually kill these? Can I actually win this? I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it, actually. Ah, uh, oh, dearie me. Dearie, dearie me. Okay, well, seems like we have done a little bit of damage. We did less damage than we did last time. I don't know how that's even possible. I thought we actually had some pretty decent units this time around, but apparently not. 
Apparently not. So I'm just going to continue firing into the enemy here just to increase our crossbows. But in general, it's it, we're done, aren't we? We're, we're kind of done. So I guess I should just get away from the enemy and retreat once again. But obviously that does mean that we might have... You know, gained a, a pretty good amount of experience. I'm, I'm pretty happy with the couple of levels that we gained. Because obviously that enabled us to get some extra leadership. But as you can see, I mean, just look at all the enemies here. It is... <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. Absolutely. Okay. So that's just... What? Why? Why are you taking me prisoner? I have no idea why they were able to take me prisoner there. Okay. Well, apparently they took me prisoner then. I don't really mind, because that means that we have no more wages, and we're able to gain a huge amount of... Oh, actually, not a huge amount of money, because now the mercenary payment is zero, but... Ah, uh, really? Really? I actually thought that as long as I was alive, there would not be any prisoner taking, but apparently they did still have that option, which is <laughs> actually a bit of a shame. Well, never mind. It doesn't matter so much. They, they only have a thousand left. I say only. Yes. They only have a thousand left. But the thing is, is that they only have... I don't know, about 300 of the deserters. And then they just have militia recruits. And the militia recruits are absolutely awful. As you can see, they have acquired a bunch of prisoners. And you would wonder where they're from. Well, they're from us, obviously. And we're going to come back in the next episode and destroy them. I'm going to try and get some mercenary units to be able to do that, actually. So, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.